Hello there. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today I'm coming to you from very, very, very sunny Phoenix, Arizona. It's quite warm outside, over 100 degrees. And I want to apologize because this video is late. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Don't be mad at Catalyst. It's all my fault. It's going to be a day late. So sorry about that. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about a command that used to be an express tool. You know how I love my express tools. And then it grew up and became a real life AutoCAD command. And that is lay match. And it is right here, right in the middle of the layer panel, right? Lay match. Now, the goal behind this command is it makes it really easy for you to take objects on one layer and put them on another layer simply by selecting another object on the destination layer. Well, there's a couple different ways of doing it works great if you happen to be dealing with somebody else's drawing, can't remember the layer standards, um, or maybe it's an old drawing of yours where you can't remember. It's going to help you edit, sync all of the objects up so they're all on the right layer very, very quickly. All right, let me show you what I mean. So if you take a look at the drawing that I have, let's say it's somebody else's drawing, clearly these dimensions here appear to be on the wrong layer. I want them to be on the same layer as these dimensions. Now I could look and find out what layer they're on, but I'm so lazy. You guys remember that about me. I just want to be as efficient as possible. I don't want to do any extra work. So I am going to use lay match. All right. I come up here, select lay match. And the first thing it wants to know is what objects you need to move to a different layer. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select these three dimensions. Okay. So that they're highlighted. Those are the wrong, the, the, wrong, the dimensions on the wrong layer. All right, now I'm going to hit an enter, and now it says on destination layer, what layer do you want them to end up on? So I'm selecting another object on the destination layer. Well, it looks like these guys are on the right layer, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and select them, and now they're clearly on the correct layer. Easy, 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 fast fix, right? All right, that's one way of doing it. Let's take a look at another way. I'm going to go back into the layer match command. And I'm going to go ahead and just window a few different objects here, just randomly. So I have a few objects highlighted. And let's say, I can't quite remember, um, I can't tell by looking at the screen, another object that's on the right layer. So in this case, I'm going to do a little bit of extra work. I'm going to type in N for name. And you'll see that it gives me a list of all the layers. So it's easy enough for me just really quickly to take those objects and change them to another layer. We'll just put them here on the nose layer. All right, say so, okay. So that's another way you can do it. There's many different ways to change objects to another layer, right? So that's just one, but I do definitely love matching objects from one layer onto another layer by selecting an object on the destination layer. I think that comes in handy. I think that's going to save you time. I think it's going to save you time. All right, so coming to you in from very warm Phoenix, I'm going to see you back here in two weeks. Okay, two weeks minus a day because I was late, and I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Take care.